guys, in this video we're going to make a heavy roller DB style bass. It sounds like this. Alright, so the sound we're going to make here is a little bit more complex than the super saw that we did previously. And we're going to be assigning the LFO to lots of things to get lots of movement with the sound. And it's one of the ways that you can create a really dynamic and moving sound without having to do lots of automation on the other end of it. So let's look to do that. We're going to start off with a wavetable and find a shape that we like. So we've just gone that PWM Juno and I've just held down and just, just found something that stands out and we're probably just going to stick with that in that one particular frame instead of moving the wavetable around. So the first thing we're going to do is use the unison to spread that out like we did before. I'm going to bring it quite a bit back on the detune so it's pretty narrow. We're going to use an LFO just to keep spreading that out. So we can take LFO one here. We're going to drag it onto the D tune, and we don't want it to go the full amount. So we're just going to bring that control back, probably somewhere around here. That's quite a cool bit of movement already. Now the blend is going to be the overall balance. We want it to adjust that as well. So we want it to mainly be like this, but then push it open like that. So we're going to bring LFO one onto the blend as well, and then dial that in roughly like this. Now shape wise, we can do pretty much anything we want within the LFO. If we double click, we can add a couple more points. And let's do something a bit more vicious. Okay, so we're starting to get somewhere. Let's drop it an octave like this. Of course, we can really hear what's going on now. to make sure that a bit of weight sticks in with this we're going to put the sub straight in as well and we'll put it on the rounded corner and drop it by an octave that's helped us get loads of weight into it already now in oscillator b i want to create some extra movement so let's switch oscillator b on we're going to turn a off and the sub off for the minute we want to try and find something where we can get like a bit of a resonant shifting around The analog BD sign might work for us. What we're going to do now is bring LFO one and we're going to link that to the wavetable position. Pulsing a little hard. Let's try a different. So crush world works really well. Let's bring us A and the sub back in. Let's maybe take it ever so slightly off phase with a bit of a random element too. Okay, there's something else that I want to get out of this patch. I want it to have a kind of analog pitch bend where the notes quickly shift without using portamento and having to switch notes. So it triggers every time. If we jump into the matrix, we're going to go into setting a source for envelope two. And we're going to send that source to a destination of global and master tuning. We want to change the directionality so it's just going the one way. We're going to just pitch that up a bit. So now if we go to envelope two, we're going to take hold completely off and we want K to be pretty much gone as well. And we're just going to have a quick release. We need sustain to go completely off. I'm going to bring decay back up. Now, depending on that decay, that brings our note back down. Even faster release, just that decay. So you can 
here now we're just getting that click at the start. If we to bring this right up, really exaggerate it. Around 12 is going to work about right. I think the last thing we can add a bit of noise in and what we'll do, we'll go into analog and tape. We'll bring the level right back just to fill the space up. So next in effects, we're going to really use those to bring this into its own. So let's do hyper dimension first. I'm going to bring the size down dimension. I'm going to bring the mix up quite a bit. And the 11% detune on the hyper with the rate quite down. And the mix back too. Then we can try bringing in flange in for a bit of extra stereo whip. Let's sync it to the BPM over one bar. I'm going to bring distortion in after this. bring that oscillator B down in level. We're going to use the compressor to bring a lot of the high end out, probably with multiband on. Switch the voicing over to mono. And I think just to take some of that harsher high end away now, we're just going to put all three into the filter. Really subtle 6 dB slope. We're going to use LFO2 on the calf and give it just the tiniest bit of movement. Let's try this at a faster BPM. The level of the sup up a little bit. And I think we can maybe put the fat on the filter up a bit. And drive. Let's see if we can put it in context. It works well with the rounded sign, but we can also put a square wave in, dial the level back and get a completely different feel. So there is a big roller type drum and bass bass.